Oh yes, it's Disney night, and the feeling's right. Oh yes, it's Disney night. Oh what a wait! It's not just Disney night, HQDs. It is Disney villains night here on HQ. Is I, your host with the ghost of Davy Jones, Jufar, HQLA Deville, Quizimoto, the hunchback of Vulture Game, Scott Rogowski. It's Sunday, March the 24th, the first Sunday of season three. We got new features, bigger prizes, and we heard you like leveling up, so we're dishing out more points this season than ever before. In case you don't know, levels make it easier for you to win HQ. The higher your level, the more free passes you earn on questions through the game. Get on my level, okay? Players who reach level 10 will need to win just answers a few questions to, to win the whole game. We're throwing a 10 times points multiplier on every question thing. 10 times the points! And if that's not enough, you can add even more multis on top of the 10 times. Two, three, or four, that's 20, 30, or 40 times. Yes, they multiplied the multipliers. Also, you've heard words. you played words this season. Have you given the super wheel a spin? You get one for free by referring your friends. Oh, what's that? You already invited all your friends to play? Bah humbug! We've wiped the slate clean on referrals for season three, so you can reinvite all your friends to play HQ. And when you do, you both get an extra life. I'm talking double extra lives. But, you know, wait till after the game to start referring, okay? Get an extra life now if you don't have one, all right? Or you get them for free with those streaks playing five days in a row. That helps. Uh, so much, so much talking. I'm gonna take a break, watch a commercial. Tonight, I'm asking 15 questions all about the villainous world of Quizney. Answer them all and win a share of our prize, which is $20,000. Yes, the $10,000 from last week rolled over to tonight's game. That's enough to make even the greediest, money grubbingest Disney villain blush. Put it all on Murray State. Hey, we got a special guest for this special show. In real life, he's having super look personal video shout outs on the Cameo app. But in 1992's animated film Aladdin and its direct to video sequels, he voiced a bona fide, genuine Disney villain. Let's get ready to rumble! I say we kill me! Yeah, help me. This is the most exercise I've had all day. I want the job done tonight. What are you waiting for? Go on. You heard the voice, now you're seeing the face. It's the inimitable, impeccable Gilbert Gottfried. How are you, sir? I'm sorry, we didn't rehearse that part. <laughs> I've been Am I supposed to say okay or You look okay, I think Or I've got a headache. You gotta tell me this. <laughs> I don't work uh, just right off the spot. We didn't we, did, we didn't put how you're feeling on the prompter. Well listen, here's what we want you to do tonight, Mr. Godfrey. Yes. Okay, because you are such an all-star Hall of Fame Disney villain, and because you're such an all-star Hall of Fame. Com comedian and master of roast jokes, we want you to roast some Disney characters. Can you do that for us? Ah, uh, okay. Let's start with Ariel the Little Mermaid. What do you got for Ariel? Ariel is so lame, she thinks being human is interesting. I hear Ariel is on a seaweed diet. She sees weed, she smokes it. Oh, boy. Hey, Ariel, how'd you learn the word thingamabob? Not for you, dumb dumb. She preserves. Hey, Amy Klobuchar. Amy Klobuchar. Can we do one? We have time for Cinderella. Give me for one for Cinderella here. Cinderella's only friends on my Prince Charming might want to get tested for hantavirus. <laughs> Cinderella <laughs> is a great message for young girls everywhere. When life is going your way, wait for magic to show up and fix everything. Oh, that's it. Oh. Gilbert 
Gilbert Godfrey is in the house with over half a million of you live in the game right now. You roasted Ariel. You roasted Cinderella. You, you were going for it. You didn't want to stop there. But we had to stop because we got to get this show on the road, Gilbert. We got to get down to the nitty gritty. I had no idea I was this tall. <laughs> yeah, neither did I. <laughs> we're blowing our apple boxes budget <laughs> on you. All right, Gilbert. It's Cumero Numero Uno time. Disney villain night. You want to hit him with Q1? Okay. What is the name of Jafar's trust? He's talking in a life. Othello Iago. We're talking about your character here, Gilbert. He didn't get his own song until the sequel. You remember the song, right? Yes. How did that go? Oh, uh, uh, okay. Forget about that guy. Forget about the way you fell into his eyes. Yes, yes. it's Iago, of course. That sultan vile betrayer to you, right? 445,830 got that right. You knew the sarcastic squawk and see. Let's hear some more of that song, Gil. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's it. I've had it. I hate to be dramatic, but it's time for me to fly the coop. Oh, it's time for you to fly the coop, Gilbert. That, that's all for you for now. Oh, we'll bring okay. you back. Gilbert Gottfried, Yago himself, with Cumero Numero Uno. Here's Q2. What snack does the evil queen offer Snow White? A matcha macaron, granola bar, or poison apple? Oh, my goodness. I want Gilbert singing the whole show, and he, he'd do it, too. Slave in the magic mirror, come from the farthest space. Through wind and darkness I summon thee. Speak, let me see thy face. Because the, the fairest of them all was Snow White, the disguised queen fed her a poison apple. That wasn't very nice. Poison, dip the apple in the brew. Let the sleeping see through. 621. Hey, Snow White, and, and all young girls out there, don't go accepting uh, apples from, from hags, from these hags that show up to your house. These evil people. It's not good. Just buy an out. Go to Whole Foods. Q3. In addition to Peter Pan, Captain Hook is also enemies with what kind of creature? A wildebeest, flamingo, or crocodile? Well, well, a codfish on a hook. You know, kids, before TikTok took over your lives as a lip sync app, TikTok the croc was a fearsome photo, old Captain Hook. It's how he got that off in the first place. The crocodile bit it off. Ooh, see you later, alligator, to the 10,000 who got this wrong, but 495, 439, you're off to Never Never Land and Q2 after a while, crocodile. Q, oh no, no, not Q2, Q4, what am I talking about? We're at Q4 already. What are the names of Cinderella's nasty stepsisters in the animated film? Marlon and Dory, Drizella and Anastasia, or Adela and Atina? We gotta shout out your Max, your son Max here in the studio and wife Dara here with Gilbert. Are they, they're playing along out there. I wonder how they're doing. Cinderella, Cinderella, night and day, Cinderella. Look, the sisters weren't as mean as the stepmother, but they were pretty rude too. Call them by their names, Drizella and Anastasia. Sing, sweet nightingale. 445,954 singing a song of success tonight. You're off to the ball. The rest of you, we lost 50,000 of you there, turning into pumpkins. I keep you for early tonight. You find these Disney villains is primarily purple. Shere Khan, Yzma, or Percival C. McLeach. You gotta go to the Emperor's new groove for this villain, voiced by Eartha Kitt, a fan favorite with her quick wit and sassy comebacks. Plus, she's a fashion icon, a vision in mauve. It's Yzma! Ha! You really should have thought of that before you became peasants. The Emperor's advisor. Living proof that dinosaurs once roamed the Earth says David Spade. 340,100. Got this one right. Maybe some of you have levels to keep you in this game or an extra life. We did lose 100 and, what, 140,000 here eaten by Shere Khan. Q6 we go. What is Cruella DeVille's relationship to Anita in the animated 101 Dalmatians? Is she a schoolmate, a friend of the family, or a colleague? Cruella DeVille, Cruella DeVille. If she doesn't scare you, no evil thing will. To see her is to take a sudden chill. It wasn't always that way. I mean, I assume when Anita, Roger's wife and Perdita's owner, knew her back in school, she had more chill. Must be Cruella, your dearly devoted old schoolmate. They really went to school together? She's 150 years old. 125,375 got this right. A savage question? Yes. Ooh. An evil villainous savage question at Q6, knocking out 300,000 of you in one fell swoop. Oh, you got 
bit by that spider, Cruella DeVille. 129,375 following the scent of this quiz to Q7. Which of these Disney villains does not have a similar hairstyle to the other two? Claude Frollo, Sean Yu, or Stromboli? past the halfway point once we get past this question. These two may be from totally different geographic areas and eras, but they are both bald on top. Some facial hair below. I'm talking about Shan Yu, the leader of the Hun army in Mulan, and Stromboli, the mad puppeteer in Pinocchio, but Claude Frollo in Hunchback, he kept it neat and clean and lush up top. And another savage question, back to back, Jack. YOLO, Frollo, 46,155, Frollo, Tony Brown Town. Check yourself right at the door. 207,000 are checking out of this quiz. Ouchie, wowie. Oh, the lyrics of her song. What kind of people does Ursula use her magic on? Losers, good-hearted people, or depressed people? The lyrics of the song now. You're a poor, unfortunate soul if you get this wrong, and it's poor, unfortunate souls Ursula is singing about. They're basically losers, but she doesn't mention that in the lyrics. Listen. I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed. Pathetic. Pathetic. <laughs> depressed. Those depressed people. 62,530. Not depressed tonight, because you just got Q8 right, inching ever closer to the 20 thousand dollar prize the forty thousand you got it wrong uh you're in pain in need but we're going where the people are going where q9 is what does gaston yell right before the beast dangles him off the roof in the animated beauty and the beast bell is mine i'll take care of her or you're just a beast there's some serious man to beast combat in this film gaston assaults the beast all over his own castle with an arrow and insults but it's when he brings up bell that the beast gets real bad. Bell is I'll never be your beast of burden. My back is broad, but it's a hurting. Oh, 48,795. This question is yours, but you knew it. Huh, not a burden for you, this quiz. You are rocking and rolling through this one like the stones. Q10 at Aurora's christening. In this looking beauty, Maleficent describes the fairies as what? Rabble, fools, or peasants? Hey Gilbert, you know about fools. You I... fool! You fool! <laughs> Maleficent got her spin-off movie in 2014, but I'm asking about the original 1959 film where Maleficent delivers this line. <laughs> How quaint. Even the rabble. Rabble. You better hold Meriwether back because she snapped. And she's ready to take Maleficent down over that diss. Ooh, <laughs> I'm snapping over this savage question. Another one? Three in one quiz? I haven't seen this in many a moon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my lanta, 10,207. Surviving, breaking out of the rubble. It's Apple at Q10. Q11 we go. Not the penultimate question tonight. You got to answer a few more. 15 we're doing. $20,000 on the line here. Q11, which is not a direction the Queen of Hearts barks at Alice in the animated Alice in Wonderland. Don't slap, watch, look up, see. Go ask Alice mm, 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 when she's 10 feet tall. Alice was painting the roses red and the, the queen was getting red in the face. What does she tell the young lass? Look up, speak nicely, and don't twiddle your fingers. She didn't mention the slouching part. This ain't Passover Seder, you can't. 5,167, getting this one right. By the way, all good advice for public speaking, you know, you gotta admit that. 5,167, you're no slouch. You got 11 questions right, you're at Q12, Disney villain night, baby. Gilbert Gottfried's still in the house, we'll see him a little bit later. Q12, which of these Disney villains said, take whatever booty you can find? Gaston, Governor Ratcliffe, or Captain Hook? Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. You know, a lot of Disney villains are famous for being mean to animals and pillaging places that don't belong to them, but take whatever booty you can find. Well, that line belongs to one man. Take whatever booty you can find. Mm, he's not talking about that pirate's booty. That delicious 
popcorn. Well, I don't know what that stuff is. Gaston is your answer here. 5,197. Booty, 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 booty rocking. Miss New Booty. Miss H Cuties. H Cuties with the booties at Q12. You got three more questions tonight. 53 questions between you and 20 grand. Q13. Will it be a lucky 13 for you? Bobcat Goldthwait voices a sidekick to a Disney villain who has what distinctive feature? Tentacles, wings, or flames for hair? Bobcat Goldthwait, friend of yours, Gilbert? Oh, yeah. Are we on the air? Well. Oh, yeah. In that case, we're good friends. <laughs> You're good friends. Yes. <laughs> Bobcat voices a plump, red little dude named Plain in Disney's Hercules, the sidekick to James Woods' Hades, who has flames for hair. <laughs> are here and you didn't tell me oh, we, we are worms flames burning the side of my face flames 3728 new flames for hair you had a clue on that one bobcat goldthwaite another great comedian one of gilbert's contemporaries q14 the penultimate question tonight what does Captain Hook try to bribe his prisoners with? Rum, cake, or a free tattoo? Oh boy, Captain Hook. He already lost his hands to the crocodile. He already knew that one. Tick tock. Someone needs to, needs to help Captain Hook with his negotiating skills because, uh, you know, these kids are from Neverland. They can get free tattoos. All those who sign without delay will get a free tattoo. And that was before, you know, tattoos were really cool. You know, before Takashi 6ix9ine came in. and he, Who's getting 6ix9ine on their forehead? 1,347! Mm, splitsies right here. Looks like a little plurality. Just, just barely, the, the bare plurality got this one right. 1,347. You can afford plenty of tattoos with your share of $20,000. You're one question away from it, kids. Q15, the final round, it all boils. Down to this ho 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 and a bottle of rum. $20,000. Disney villains. Gilbert Godfrey, Q15. What is the very first thing Scar says in The Lion King? What do you want? If it isn't my brother, or life's not fair, is it? The very first thing out of Scar's mouth. You know, Scar's whole thing is he wants to be king, but it's never going to happen, especially when baby Simba is born, he seems content to believe that life's not fair, is it? Life's not fair, indeed. But it, it's fair for the 756 who won HQ tonight. You won big money, baby! Winner, winner, chicken cutlet dinner, 756, 755 of you splitting $20,000. That's $26.49 a person, Gil. How about that? Yes. That's good money. That's, you yes, take that. that's, that's good money. Bobby831. I just had lived that. That's good money. <laughs> you, you could buy a copy yeah. of uh, Aladdin. I'm quick. <laughs> I'm Blue quick. Ray. Ask me how I am now. How you how you feeling, Gil, that all these people want money? Okay. <laughs> Nip74, Sammy, B. Nelson, Aggie, Jackie, Mangar. I wonder if Max won out there. We'll, we'll never know. Well, well, we'll know pretty soon once we get out of the studio. That That's, that's our show for tonight, folks. You conquered the Disney villains. You did it. You won over $20 on your Sunday night. Not bad. Hey, stick around for HQ Words at 930. That's coming up with Anna. Tomorrow, we're giving out a billion points. We're doing HQ 100 on Wednesday. Oh, that's a billion points. Yeah, tomorrow. One billion points. Maybe that's more valuable than 26 bucks. It all depends, you know, because the points get you levels. The levels help you win. Hey, Wednesday night, HQ 100 is happening, and Star Wars is happening Thursday. That's Thursday, Star Wars, HQ Words, HQ Trivia. Wow, what did I get? Oh, oh, wait, that I, we didn't uh, prepare ahead of you didn't, time. We didn't prepare an outro. I've been Scott Rigowski. You've been Gilbert Gottfried. You can find Gilbert on Cameo if you want him to, uh, you know, stumble through uh, a uh, personal video message for you, just like he stumbled through tonight. <laughs> uh, you want to take us out on a joke, Gilbert, something that's not prepared, maybe something you got memorized in this 
Great big brain ears. A guy visits his friend. He sees his friends. Both his ears are burnt. He says, how did you burn your ears? He says, well, I was ironing my shirt and the phone rang. And instead of picking up the phone, I picked up the iron. And he goes, how'd you burn your other ear? He says, well, I had to call a doctor, didn't I? (laughs) That's what you get with Gilbert Godfrey. That's what you get with HQ. (laughs) We'll see you later, kids. Bye.